What's up? It's Drama, the man with a face for radio and a voice for newsprint media, coming at you with a new review. This time it is Subdivision Infinity DX by Mistfly Games and published by Blowfish Studios. Game is available on the Switch, Xbox, and PS4, as well as Steam. Uh, the PS4 uh, the versions actually got delayed a little bit, so the NA version is not available yet. Should be available on August 15th. Uh, but the EU version is available and NA is coming shortly. So the game is a 3D space shooter, a lot of pew pew action. Uh, it, it does have a number of different types of elements to it, though, which is honestly probably one of its main selling points in my opinion. Uh, the fact that it's not all just pew pew, action, action, action really helps it because while the action works just fine, the RPG elements, as you can see here, I leveled up after a level, uh, really help it. Uh, there are a number of weapons you can utilize. Uh, they do all cost money and honestly they cost a lot of money in my opinion. Uh, but the exploration sections that the game has really help in that you can find things that are useless other than to s sell. I, I mean, they're really, they're helpful. Uh, so the variety of weapons, it's pretty high. Uh, unfortunately, there's only a handful that I really found to be terribly useful. And that's even after using the upgrade system for the weapons. You can see some of the weapons have different stars here. And I'm going to upgrade the Swarm FX to level two here. Uh, that costs money and also costs various gear and, and other things that you pick up um, it does improve the weapons uh, so that's nice actually i'm going to level three or four it looks like but whatever <laughs> uh, but it makes makes the weapons more usable um, so that's really handy and, and it makes the fights much simpler uh, there are two difficulties easy and normal and I played on easy for the most part. I did start the game on normal, uh, but I, I found normal didn't quite feel like it was balanced real well. Um, you know, it probably works better later on while the enemies obviously get stronger as well. You have better weapons. And, and at the beginning, the weapons just cost so very much money since you're not getting access to them until you reach a certain level and you just don't have the funds to buy them anyway a lot of the time, it makes it real difficult to play at the harder levels, I thought. Uh, not to say it's impossible by any stretch, but I wanted to enjoy the game rather than fighting the game, as it were, you know? <laughs> and you're always outnumbered. You don't often have help. Uh, I did there in that last screen, of course. Uh, here's one of the best parts of the game, though, honestly. It's, it's the fact that the game changes things up. You know, it gives you exploration missions. Uh, and, and there's five chapters in the game, and each chapter has two exploration missions where you can mine asteroids and look for containers that have upgrades. Uh, so that really makes things... You know, it, it changes things up. Uh, as far as what's going to drive you to keep playing, I mean, it's a relatively short game with pretty simple trophies for the most part it does have a plat so that's cool uh, so if you're a trophy hunter well there you go that's so it's going to drive you right uh, if you're not though you're likely still not going to care about the story I, I found the story very cliched and, and honestly fairly boring didn't help that there were a number of translation issues they're minor i mean it wasn't like all your castles belong to us but you know word missing here or there things of that nature now, that said, really didn't hinder the game because I didn't care about the story. Uh, I also only ran into one real technical glitch, which is shown here where I have gotten stuck in a space station in a spot that I wasn't supposed to be in. I had a few other minor quibbles. I would have loved missiles to regen instead of being a pickup. Uh, I didn't think lock-on worked from far enough. I hated having to press square instead of cross to start missions. and. I would have loved some more explanation on a few things like how to get your mining tool equipped. Quibbles aside, I really thought this game scratches that space shooter pew pew itch and do recommend it. Uh, so give it a look.